Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. I'm Joel. Today, three problems with shooting a gas gun at long distance. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today is gas guns. Now, I don't do this very often because, just to be honest and to give you my perfectly honest opinion, gas gun is the wrong tool for the long distance job that we need to do in competition. Um, that is my opinion. You know, some guys operate these, these systems very, very efficiently, almost to the same level as uh, precision bolt action. That's not me. A gas gun for me, I don't care what caliber is chambered in, I'm not, I'm not probably not going past 600 yards with it just because I don't shoot them as accurately, right? I don't drive this kind of a weapon system uh, as efficiently as I do a bolt action. I want to bring up three things that I think are problems with a standard AR type rifle as it relates to precision rifle today and then one product that I think solves all three of those problems. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of a problem with a gas gun on top of something like this is that most long precision hand guards like this are somewhat round in shape, right? This is a JP upper, so it's a very precise upper, it's a good upper, but the hand guard is smooth and round, and here's the first problem that you run into, right? It's this, it's this rounding side to side movement that you can't get out of the system. There's no way to, to take that out um, just with the way that it's set up right now. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is shooting a gas gun off of a bipod is that typically there's a section of Picatinny rail um, at the very front of the handguard. In order to get the system as stable as possible, you want to take your bipod and extend it out on the gun as far as possible. This is a full length handguard. And what we're looking at here is, is about 10 inches from the front of the receiver to where the bipod has to be mounted. That can be a problem with accuracy on AR type gas guns. All right, so the third problem that you run into with a gas gun is shooting off of barricades. Now I'm told a cooler makes a pretty good improvised uh, prop if you don't have the right tools for the job. The problem you're dealing with here is that you really want front and rear support. Your, your bipod is locked into place up here on your Picatinny rail. You could just lay a game changer bag or something like that uh, on its side on top of this and just shoot off of that but um, let's say you wanted front and rear support. Now I might be able to get a barricade bag positioned on here in such a way that I could make a shot with front and rear support, but it would be ideal to be able to get my barricade bag under the rear of the rifle and uh, on the bipod at the same time. So that is the third problem. And now that I've told you three problems that I see uh, when running gas guns in precision rifle competitions or in hunting scenarios, let me show you the one product that I think solves all three of these issues. All right guys, so I went ahead and just switched the uppers here and what the difference is that you're seeing here is the handguard. This is the Fast Track Arca Rail from Catalyst Arms. Uh, and what it gives you, uh, it solves those three problems that I was initially talking about at a very reasonable price. It's an easy install. Uh, for, for most people that are familiar with ARs, you should not need a gunsmith for this, for this process. So I was able to just um, swap this out on another handguard that I had, and it gives you a number of really cool things. So we're back at square one. Here I am on the tripod on top of the bag, and if you remember, the first issue was that when you rotate the gun, there's, some, there's a lot of movement in it because it's a round handguard. There's nothing to keep it from, from shifting side to side on you. Well, the fast track, uh, has a full length, completely flat bottom on it with Arca Swiss dovetail type attachment milled into the sides. So what it does on top of a bag like this is it gives you a completely flat surface. In order to get this one to rotate, I have to put quite a bit of force into it. I mean, it sits nice and flat. So it eliminates that issue right away. The second thing that it offers you is to be able to ditch the bag all together, right? and just mount your 
rifle directly to a tripod that's got ARCA or dovetail attachment. Now you've got a completely solid setup for shooting longer distances, for shooting varmints, that sort of thing. And no more managing the cant of the, of the rifle. You can do it within the tripod. Really nice system in that way. So let me address the second problem as well right here from this position. And that is the fact that you want your bipod mounted as far forward on the rifle as you can get for best potential of accuracy because it's just a more stable system the farther out you can get that, right? If you think about anything else, let's say for example um, the MDT ACC chassis and how long the front end of that thing is or the MPA uh, competition chassis with the, with the spigot mount for the, for the bipod or AIs, for example, they have a spigot mount where you can get the bipods out further up front. It's for stability purposes and it really does help. So this handguard from Catalyst Arms is actually two and a half inches longer uh, than a standard full length uh, uh, handguard. And so it really allows you to move that bipod further forward and get more stable. All right guys, and to solve the third problem, we're back here with our cooler. And because this uh, rail is full length up here on the handguard, you can simply loosen up your ARCA attachment and you can slide your bipod all the way down as far as you may need it, right? And we'll lock it into place. And so now, as you can see, We've slid our bipod all the way back as far as we need to in order to be able to fit on this short surface. We're on a 55 gallon drum, this works really well. Some other short barricade that you've shot off, shot off of in a PRS style competition. Now you can see because that rail is full length and allows us to adjust, we have front support, we have proper rear support via our rear bag, problem solved. All right, guys, hopefully you appreciated the Fast Track Arca Rail handguard from Catalyst Arms. I think it's a fabulous piece of kit. Uh, it's got a solid price point. I think, it, I think it should be considered if you're a gas gun shooter and you want to try to stretch these things out in distance. I think it gives you a lot of functionality, especially efficiency for running it in PRS style competitions. Um, also, the ability to be able to mount uh, directly to your tripod like this for field shooting conditions, especially hunting like varmint hunting, coyote hunting, those sorts of things where you can just simply mount it to the top of your tripod and you're off and running. I think it's great for that. Thanks for watching guys and tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.